oh, the queen moves into the doorway <laughs> and studies Anakin. <laughs> Anakin bows and looks down, then takes a peek at her. I've sent Padme on an errand. I'm going back. I'm on my way to the Jedi Temple to start my training, I hope. <laughs> Freaking Anakin's voice actor's on a cycle, dude. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, the queen just stares at him. I may not see her again, so I came to say goodbye. We will tell her for you. We are sure her heart goes with you. Anakin bows again. Thank you, your highness. I apparently didn't look at your face at all because it's obviously you. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the, queen, the queen disappears behind the doorway and Anakin exits. Exterior chorus on Galactic Senate Day. A large, distinctive looking domed building stands out amid the cityscape of Coruscant. Interior, main rotunda, Galactic Senate Day. The Senate chambers are huge. Thousands of senators and their aides sit in the circular assembly area. Chancellor Valorum sits in a in an elevated area in the center. Senator Palpatine, Queen Amidala, Erta, Rabe, and Captain Panaka sit in the Nambu Congressional Box, which is actually a floating platform. The chair recognizes the senator from the sovereign system of Nebu. The Nebu Congressional Box floats into the center. Oh, that's me. Supreme Chancellor, delegates of the Senate. A tragedy has occurred which started with the taxation of trade routes and has now engulfed our entire planet in the oppression of the Trade Federation. I, that sounds like – that doesn't sound like a line that I say. That sounds like something um, uh, Padme says or Amidala. Mm -hmm. No. No, no, that's correct. That's correct. It. Yeah, Palpatine introduces her. Or, or, or lays the groundwork. Really? Yeah. Why does he say our entire planet? Because he's from Naboo. Yeah, he's a Nabooian. Really? Yeah. Nubian. That's something else, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> a second box. Uh, I never knew that. A second box rushes into the center of the Senate. It is filled with Federation trade barons led by Lot Dodd, the senator for the Federation. This is outrageous. I object to the senator's segments. The chair does not recognize the senator from the <laughs> Trade Federation at this time. <laughs> Please return to your station. Lot Dodd reluctantly moves back to his place. To state our allegations, I present Queen Amidala, recently elected ruler of Naboo, who speaks on our behalf. Queen Amidala stands and addresses the assembly. There is, there is some applause. Honorable representatives yeah. of the Republic, yeah. I come to you under the gravest of circumstances. Naboo system has been invaded by the drawer armies of the trade. I am there. There is no proof. This is incredible. We recommend a commission to be sent to Naboo to ascertain the truth. A third box representing Malastare moves into the center of the room. Axe Moy, the ambassador, addresses the convention. Congress of Malastor occurs with the honorable <laughs> delegates from the Trade Federation. I almost said communism. I, oh, I thought that it said that too. <laughs> <laughs> must be appointed. Valorum. The point! Valorum confers with several of his aides and vice mm, chairman, yes. uh, Mas mm. Ameda. Mm. Uh, Palpatine whispers something to the queen. I and to the bureaucrats, a true ruler of the Republic and the payroll of the Trade Federation, I might add. This is where Chancellor Valorum's truth will disappear. The point is conceded. Will you defer your motion to allow a commission to explore the validity of your accusations? Queen Amidala is angry, but remains composed. I will not defer. I have come before you to resolve this act on our sovereignty now. I was not elected to watch my people suffer and die while you discuss this invasion in a committee. If this body is not capable of action, I suggest new leadership is needed. I move for a vote of no confidence in Chancellor Valorum's leadership. This, cro this causes a great stir oh, in the assembly. Oh, 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 <laughs> Thanks, Masamita. I heard, I heard. Oh! 
<laughs> I probably cut off my button. Um, uh, things things settle down a little. The Federation box settles next to Amidala. Palpatine st- stands next to Amidala. Now they will elect a new chancellor, a strong chancellor, one who will not let our tragedy continue. Exterior palace of the Jedi, balcony, sunset. Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon stand outside the palace on the balcony. The boy will not pass the council's tests, Master. He's too old. Anakin will become a Jedi, I promise you. Do not defy the council, Master. Not again. I shall do what I must, Obi-Wan. If you would just follow the code, you would be on the council. They will not go along with you this time. Uh, you still have much to learn, my young apprentice. Uh, when we get to the Darth Maul fight, oh, someone's got to play Duel of Fates. Interior uh-huh. of the Jedi, uh, Council Chamber's Sunset. Anakin stands before the Twelve Jedi. Mace Windu holds a, Mace Windu holds a small handheld viewing screen. In rapid succession, images flash across the screen. A ship? A cup? A ship? A speeder? Mace Windu turns the viewing screen off and nods towards Yoda. Hmm. How feel you? Cold, sir. Afraid, are you? No, sir. See through you. We can. Bad, I'm Be mindful the- of your motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, I don't know where we are. I can't screw. Your thoughts dwell on your mother. Oh, yeah, that's also me. I, I miss her. Afraid to lose her? I think. <laughs> <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? Everything. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. I sense much fear in you. Love the way that he says that. Because he goes... Hate hates to suffering. No. <laughs> Stings it. <laughs> suffering. Interior Palpatine's quarters, sunset. Queen Amidala is standing, staring out the window uh, with Jar Jar. The lights of the city shimmer before them. Erte and Sabe stand near the door. Jar Jar turns to face the queen and sees her sadness. You are thinking you saw people gonna die? I don't know. Guns can get pasted too, eh? Oh, God. I I hope not. Gungans no dying without a fight. We saw warriors. We saw got a grand army. That why you saw no liking us, me stuff thinks. Palpatine and Captain Panaka rush into the room and bow before the queen. Oh, your highness, your highness! Senator Palpatine has been nominated to succeed Valoria <laughs> as the <laughs> chancellor. <laughs> oh my gosh a surprise to be sure but a welcome one your majesty if I'm elected I promise to put an end to corruption who else can be nominated come on Panaka you I... can read these Bail and Tillis of Alderaan and Alin Team of Malastar Stair? Star. I have no clue I feel confident our situation will create a strong sympathy vote for us. I will be Chancellor because I'm the Dark Lord. <laughs> I fear by the time you've controlled the bureaucrats, Senator, there will be nothing left of our people, our way of life. I understand your concern, Your Majesty. Unfortunately, the Federation has possession of our planet. Senator, this is your arena. I feel I must return to mine. I've decided to go back to Naboo. Go back? But your majesty, be realistic. They'll force you to sign the treaty. I will sign no treaty, Senator. My fate will be no different than from that of our people. Captain! Your highness! Ready my ship. Please, your majesty, stay here. I, I lost it. <laughs> Where <laughs> it is clear to me now that the Republic no longer functions. I pray you will bring sanity and compassion back to the Senate. Amidala and her retinue exit the room. Palpatine is straight-faced. 
Interior, because he's the Sith Lord, and this is not what he planned. Temple of the Jedi, Council Chambers, Twilight, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Qui-Gon stand before the 12 members of the Jedi Council. The Force is strong with him. He's to be trained, then. The Council members look to one another. Oh, hell no! Motherfucker, <laughs> will not be trained. Anakin is crestfallen and stares at Mace. He is too motherfucking old. He is the chosen one. You must see it. <laughs> Clouded this boy's future. Yes. I will train him then. I take Anakin as my Padawan learner. Obi-Wan reacts and with surprise. Anakin watches with interest. Apprentice, you have, Gregon. Impossible to take a second. The, motherfu the motherfucking bro code forbids it. <laughs> Obi-Wan is ready. I am ready to face the trials. Our own council will keep on who is ready. He's stubborn as fuck. He has much to learn of the living force, but he's capable. There's little more he can learn from me. <clears throat> Young Skywalker's fate will be decided later. Now is not the fucking time for this. The motherfucking Senate is voting for the Supreme motherfucking Chancellor. And I can't say motherfucking Amidala. Queen again. Amidala. <laughs> Queen Amidala is returning home, which will put motherfucking pressure on the Federation and can widen, widen, widen <laughs> the motherfucking <laughs> Yo, Queen Amidala is going to widen the conversation. Mm -hmm. And try out the Queen's attacker. Go with the motherfucking queen to Naboo and discover the identity. Identity. <laughs> what the fuck? Identity it's no time for. Of the motherfucking dark warrior. This is the cue we must clue. We need to unravel this motherfucking mystery of the motherfucking Sith. May the force be with you. Oh. Obi Wan, Qui Gon, and Anakin bow, then leave. Exterior Coruscant Senate landing platform night. Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Anakin stand on the landing platform outside the ship. R2 whistles a happy tune, uh, and the wind whips at Anakin as he listens to the Jedi. It's not disrespect, Master. It is the truth. From your point of view. The boy is dangerous. They all sense it. Why can't you? His fate is uncertain. He is not dangerous. The Council will decide Anakin's future. That should be enough for you. Now get on board. Obi-Wan reluctantly boards the Nabu spacecraft. Qui-Gon goes over to Anakin, who is standing next to R2. Master Qui-Gon, sir, I don't want to be a problem. <laughs> you won't be, Annie. I'm not allowed to train you, so I want you to watch me and be mindful. R2 turns and rolls over to the edge of the platform, watching the traffic. Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Stay close to me and you will be safe. Master, sir... I heard Yoda talking about the midichlorians. I've been wondering, what are midichlorians? Uh, not kidding. Uh, I don't talk about that. Midichlorians are a microscopic life form that reside <laughs> in all living cells. <laughs> they live inside of me? In your cells, yes. And we are symbionts with them. Symbionts? Life forms living together for mutual advantage. Without the midichlorians, life could not exist. And we would have no knowledge of the Force. They continually speak to us, telling us the will of the Force. When you learn to quiet your mind, you will hear them speaking. Where did Kermit go? I got bored. Uh, he's, okay. go he's gone. He's out of here. You want me to do that? I can do that in Kermit if you want. <laughs> no, do what you want. I was just wondering because I'm because sometimes I, got... I go. I base the who the character is talking off of the voice you guys use. <laughs> I, so I was mean... like, I was like, where did Qui Gon go? <laughs> where did Qui Gon go? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> With time and training, Annie, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Two taxis pull up, and Captain Panaka, Queen Amidala, and her handmaiden stop before the Jedi. Your Majesty, it is our pleasure to continue to serve and protect you. I welcome your help. <laughs> Senator Palpatine fears the Federation means to destroy me. I assure you, I would not let that happen. Amidala okay. enters the ship. 
Okay, followed Jar Jar. By hand, handmaidens, <laughs> Jar Jar uh, hugs Qui Gon and Anakin. Okay, this is big. We got to do it right. This is big. <laughs> you have to yell it. We said going home. <laughs> <laughs> and let me state how much bullshit Anakin gets to go along with this because why would they have ever let him come when they had just said he cannot be the Padawan for Qui-Gon? They wouldn't let him go. Anyways. Sure. Well, come maybe on. I, huh? I, I just watched the movie. For some reason, they take him on like the the raid and they just put him in a ship and they're like, Dude, hey, don't move, but we're going to bring you here and just put you on a ship after we kill some people. There was, there's no he's got to watch, watch Qui-Gon. But they wouldn't have let him go. The, the, the Jedi Council. Well, like, they literally said, well, what would they, they, what would they, they have done the, with him? Let, kept him at the Jedi? They said his fate is to be determined later. They would just leave him at the, um, the Jedi Temple. Uh, they kidnapped yeah, yeah. him. That one. Anyways, come on, R2. <laughs> They all move onto the ship. Uh, they all move onto the ship. The ship takes off. Interior, Naboo Palace, Throne Room, Theed, Knight. Newt and Rune, uh, Rune, uh, st- oh no, that's just Rune, stand before a hologram of Darth Sidious. Oh, getting back on. Is the planet secure? We have taken over the last pockets of primitive life forms. We are in complete control of the planet now. Bad. I will see to you that the Nasenic things stay as they are. I'm sending my apprentice, Darth Maul, to join you. Yes, my lord. Darth Sidious fades off. A Sith Lord here? <laughs> Mickey? Don't worry about it, I'm working on it. <laughs> Interior space, Naboo spacecraft cockpit. Anakin stands next to the pilot, Rick Oli, baby, pointing to various buttons and gauges. Those are the four stabilizers. But those control the pitch? You catch on pretty quick. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy Goofy. Interior, Naboo spacecraft, Queen's Chambers. Sabe and Erte stand behind Queen Amidala as she talks with Qui-Gon and Captain Panaka, Obi-Wan and Jar Jar, watch. As soon as we leave, we let... Whoa. The Federation will arrest you, and the Force will sign the treaty. The Force will sign the treaty. <laughs> I agree. I'm not sure what you wish to accomplish by this. I will take back what's ours. There are too few of us, your highness. We have no army. And I can only protect you. I cannot fight a war for you. Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar looks around, puzzled. Misa, your highness? Yes. I need your help. Interior Naboo cruiser cockpit day. The Naboo cruiser heads towards the lush green planet. There is only one Federation battle cruiser orbiting. Obi-Wan and Captain Panaka spotted on the view screen. Uh, I have one battleship on my scope. It's a droid control ship. Oh, jeez, Obi-Wan, they probably spotted us. We haven't much time. Interior Naboo spacecraft main hold. The Queen, Captain Panaka, troops, and handmaidens get ready to disembark as the ship lands deep within the forest. Exterior Naboo swamp day. The Naboo spacecraft has, spacecraft has landed in the Gungan swamp. Troops unload the ships in the background as Obi-Wan approaches Qui-Gon. Jar Jar is on his way to the Gungan City Master. Qui Gon's thoughts are elsewhere. Good. <laughs> Kylo Ren. <laughs> <laughs> Obi Wan and uh, Qui Gon stand silently for a moment. Do you think the Queen's idea will work? The Gungans will not be easily be swayed, and we cannot use our power to help her. I'm. I'm sorry for my behavior, Master. It's not my place to disagree with you about the boy. And I am grateful you think I am ready to take the trials. Qui-Gon looks at him for a long moment. Mm. You've been a good apprentice. (laughs) (laughs) And you're a much much wiser man than I am. I foresee you will become a great Jedi Knight. Exterior Naboo, Swamp Lake, Day. 
Jar Jar exits the Swamp Lake and walks over to Captain Panaka, Obi-Wan, and Qui-Gon. Queen Amidala, Padme, Erte, Rabe, Anakin, R2, four pilots, and eight guards stand in the background near the, air sh the starship. There's a nobody there. The Gungan city is deserted. Some kind of fight, Misa thinks. Obi-Wan. <laughs> so, Obi. So, do you think they've been taken to camps? Oh, geez, more like wiped out. Misa no thinks so. <laughs> do you know where they are, Jaja? -Ja? When in trouble, Gungans go to sacred place. Misa show you. Come on, Misa show you. Exterior Naboo Swamp Day. The group follows Jar Jar as he moves through the swamp. Jar Jar stops and sniffs the air. The group stop behind him. Exterior Naboo Sacred Temple Ruins Jar Jar, day. can you give us a big sniff? Jar Jar, Queen Amidala... That's <laughs> bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sinuses, bro. Oh, here is... Uh, oh, yeah. I got only one. Padme, Rabe, Erte, and the rest of her group are led through the clearing full of Gungan refugees. At the far end are the ruins of a grand temple with massive carved heads. Boss Ness... And several other council members walk out of the top of a three-quarter submerged head. You are not Queen Amidala of the Naboo. Ah, hello there. You big boss Nas, your honor. Jar Jar Binks, who's das usinadas? Queen Amidala steps forward. Captain Panaka and the Jedi stand behind her. I am Queen Amidala of the Naboo. I come before you in peace. Ah, Nabu Begin. You saw bringing the mechanics. You saw all bombad. Captain Panaka and half a dozen guards and pilots look around nervously. And the Gunga troops lower their long power poles. The Jedi stay relaxed. Anakin watches everything with great interest. We have searched you out because we wish to form an alliance. Your Honor. Who saw this? I am Queen Amidala. <laughs> Jar Jar and Anakin are stunned. This is my decoy, my protection, my loyal bodyguard. Obi Wan and Qui Gon give each other a knowing look. I am sorry for my deception, but it was necessary to protect myself. Although we do not always agree, Your Honor, our two great societies have always lived in peace. The Trade Federation has destroyed all that we have worked so hard to build. If we do not act quickly, all will be lost forever. I ask you to help us. No, I beg you to help us. We are your humble servants. There is a gasp from Captain Panaka, his troops, and the handmaidens. Our fate is in your hands. Slowly, Captain Panaka and his troops bow down before the Gungan Council, then the handmaidens, Anakin, and finally the Jedi. The Gungans are puzzled by this. Boss Nass begins to laugh. Ha 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 ha! You so no thinking you so greater than the Gungans? Me so like this. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan smile at each other. Maybe. We so being friends. Padme and the others start to smile and laugh at the situation. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Including Navajo Police uh, Throne Room Day. Newt, Rune, and Darth Maul walk with a hologram of Darth Sidious. We've sent out patrols. We've already located the starship in the swamp. It won't be long, my lord. <laughs> this is an unexpected move for her. It's too aggressive. Darth Maul, be mindful. Let them make the first move. Yes, my master. Exterior Naboo, edge of swamp, slash grass plain. Oh, jeez. Day. A Gungan sentry sits on top of the ancient temple. Hey? <laughs> what is, is it? Hey? I think it's supposed to be head. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey? Hey? Yeah. Hey? Searching for the landscape with a pair of electro binoculars. <laughs> he sees something and yells down to Anakin at the foot of the statue. <laughs> All these guys are freaking like. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming too. 
All right. Anakin yells and runs over to Padme and the Jedi who are discussing a battle plan with five Gungan generals. <laughs> They're here. Good. They made it. Three speeders pull up to the group. Captain Panaka and a dozen or so guards and pilots pile out and join the group. Boss Nass puts his arm around Jar Jar. You so doing grand. Jar Jar bringing Usen and a Nabu together. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, we shall make use bomb bad general. General? Oh, no. Jar Jar's eyes roll back. His tongue <laughs> flops out and he faints. Boss <laughs> Nast laughs and walks over to where Captain Panaka is talking with Padme and the Jedi. What is the situation? Almost everyone in the camps and a hundred of the police and guards have found an underground resistance movement. Founded. It's actually founded. Forged. Forged. Find <laughs> <Right> back. <laughs> oh, oh, good. The Federation's army are almost are almost much larger than we thought and much stronger. Oh, geez, your highness, this is the battle I don't think we can win. The battle is a diversion. The Gunkins must draw the droid army away from the cities. R2? We can enter the city using the secret passages, passages on the waterfall side. Once we get to the main entrance, Captain Panaka will create a diversion. Then we can enter the palace, capture the Viceroy. Without the Viceroy, they will be lost and confused. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan look on with interest. What do you think, Master Jedi? The Viceroy will be well guarded. Oh, Not geez, the difficulty getting into the throne room. Once we're inside, we shouldn't have a problem. There is a possibility. With this diversion, many Gungans will be killed. We are ready to do our part. Anakin watches with interest. We have a plan which should immobilize the droid army. We will send what pilots we have to knock out the droid control ship orbiting the planet. A well-conceived plan. However, there's great risk. The weapons on your fighters may not penetrate the shields. Obi. And there's even bigger danger. Yeah, and there's an even bigger danger. If the Viceroy escapes, Your Highness, he will return with another droid army. Well, that is why we must not fail to get the Viceroy. Everything depends on it. Interior Theed Palace Throne Room Day. New to room, Darth Maul, U9, and a hologram of Darth Sidious walk, walk through the throne room. She is more foolish than I thought. We are sending more troops to meet this army assembling in the swamp. It appears to be made of primitives. This will work to our advantage. I have your approval to proceed then, my lord? Wipe them out. All of them. Interior Naboo Swamp Lake Day effects. All is peaceful. Suddenly there is a disturbance in the middle of the lake. A rush of bubbles. Then a Gungan soldier riding a Kadu emerges from the fog, followed by several others. Soldiers on huge lizard-like fambas with large shield generators mounted on their backs flow, uh, follow the marching warriors. The Gungan army heads out of the swamp and onto the rolling grassy hills. Hundreds of Gungan warriors march in in... Long lines toward the horizon. The Gungan general Seal sees the tanks on the ridge and orders a halt. The Gungans are spread out in a large line. Jar Jar is nervous. General Seal signals to the shield operators. Halt! Starting up the shield. A red ray shoots out of the generator and blasts into a large blasts into a large dish on the back of the second foot thamba and spreads like an umbrella over the assembled warriors. Federation tanks move up to the ridge and stop. In the distance, they see the Gungan army waiting for them. Pull him forward! The Federation tanks fire upon the Gungan army, hitting their shields. Exterior the Central Plaza Day. Padme, followed by Erte, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, Anakin, and R2 stealthily makes their way toward the entrance to the main hangar. They are followed by about 20 Naboo guards, pilots, and troops. They stop, and Padme uses a small red laser light to signal across the plaza to Captain Panaka, Ra Rabe, and 20 other assorted Naboo troops. They signal back. Qui-Gon leans over to Anakin. Once we get inside, 
You find a safe place to hide and stay there. Sure. Qui-Gon points a stern finger at Anakin. Stay there! (laughs) 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 Droid droid troops mill about the tank-filled plaza. At the far end of the plaza, several droids begin to run and fire. Naboo soldiers begin to fire back at the battle droids. Freaking, okay, um... Padme's gun in this episode has the coolest sound of any of the Star Wars guns. It literally sounds like this. 